Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is prepositional phrase 115. The prepositional phrase today is behind the eight ball. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. If someone is behind the eight ball, he or she is in a difficult or challenging situation or in a weak or losing position. Okay, let's continue. The term dates back to the early 1900s and comes from a form of pool in which all the numbered balls must be hit into a pocket in a certain order. Now, if you ever play pool, the hole that you have to hit the ball into, that's called a pocket. However, in this game, one is not supposed to hit the eight ball until it is the last ball to be hit into a pocket. So, I think you got two players and usually one of them got the half the balls and the other ones have, have other half the balls. Sometimes it's separated between solids and stripes, uh, whichever one. But you, once you knock in all your balls, then you can knock in the eight ball and you win. But before you get to that point, you're not allowed to hit the eight ball. So this is where the problem comes from. Okay. Uh, okay, let's continue here. However, in this game, one is not supposed to hit the eight ball until the last ball, until it's the last ball to be into a pocket. And if a player hits the eight ball, he's penalized. So you get punished. Sometimes the next ball a player needs to hit is behind the eight ball and one cannot hit it directly. So if you ever play pool, the easiest way to hit the balls is to try to use the cue ball, the white ball, and hit them directly. But sometimes, like, other, another ball might be in the way. Now, you can hit another ball to hit the ball you want to try to knock it in the pocket. But if it's the eight ball, you can't hit that ball. All right. Uh, thus, it is a weaker or more challenging situation. So if you, you are in that situation, you have to do what we sometimes call to bank it. You have to hit the white ball, the cue ball, off of, like, side so it bounces around the table and it doesn't hit the eight ball, and then it can try to try to make it hit the ball that you need to hit in order to knock it in the pocket. It becomes much harder and more difficult when you cannot hit it straight. So this is where the whole idea of this phrase comes from. Okay, let's continue. Um, all right, and we got four examples to show just how it's used. Here's the first one. Because I caught the flu, I couldn't get any work done, and now I am behind the eight ball. I won't be able to have the project done on time for the boss. Okay. Number two, I had some major car expenses this month, and now I'm behind the eight ball. I won't be able to pay my credit card bills. Well, at least not this month. In which case, that probably means that you will have to pay extra charges, which... So the, all those things you bought on those credit card now cost you a lot more money because you have to pay extra charges to the credit card company because you didn't pay the bill on time. Let's continue. Number three, if you don't make uh, sure your child learns the basics, he will be behind the eight ball all the way through school. Now, of course, when we say the basics with a, in this way, we mean like reading, writing, and arithmetic. So you have to make sure your child can read and write well, and his comprehension, he can understand, and he knows how to add, you know, from arithmetic. Those are considered to be the basics. All right, let's continue. And number four, because I overslept and missed my flight, I am behind the eight ball and won't be able to get uh, there in time before the big event begins. Or, or before this big meeting begins or whatever it is that you're going there for. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.